Greetings, welcome along to Robin's Book Club. It's week number 28, can you believe it? And this week it's David Hearn and Arizona Trips. And it occurs to me that starting my videos by saying greetings is some kind of inadvertent homage to Chappers and the Captain. And if you know who they are and you're watching this video, I suspect we're a very small part of a Venn diagram. But anyway, let's move on to the wonderful David Hearn. This book has a recommended retail price of £25. I paid just over £10 posted for it, brand new, and it is glorious. It was published in 2017 and has 176 pages. The quality is really good, uh, both the, uh, the printing and the reproduction, but also the photographs as well. It does start with an essay, David Hearn in conversation with cultural historian Sir Christopher Frayling, and I will just read you a quick quote from that. It is, as I say, a conversation between the two gentlemen, and at one part David Hearn says, I enjoy very much looking at things that I would not normally do, because the more experience I get, the more I find that when masses of people do things, they usually do them for a reason. They usually have fun. They're not watching telly, they're doing all these things, and so photography to me is an entree to these worlds. I'm a very shy person, but if you have a camera and you go through the door and there are people doing whatever they're doing, and you say, what are you doing? And you say, I'm a photographer. You can somehow say that with a respect for them and an interest in them virtually every time they invite you in. As long as you show respect and as long as you show interest, people enjoy you being there because, by and large, people quite like being photographed. It makes them feel as though you're interested in them. If you haven't read On Being a Photographer, his book with Bill Jay, uh, then you simply must because David Hearn has that rare mix. A great photographer who can also articulate his thoughts on the medium with great clarity and by all accounts a gifted teacher too. He was born in 1934, joined Magnum in the 1960s and is a self-taught photographer. He has a great Instagram feed. He often posts um, not just brilliant pictures but very thought-provoking uh, comments. As you look at these photos, first of all I hope you enjoy them and you can see that, uh, that David is a true master photographer and has quite a lot of humour I think in his approach as well. But think about the ideas of black and white versus colour. Would these photographs work so well one way or the other? Think about framing. Think about the idea of pairing your work rather than sequencing a book. And think about a body of work being created over time. Because as the introduction to this book explains, um, he, was ordered, he was awarded a fellowship, a one-year award to photograph in America. And he chose Arizona then. That was in 1979 to 1980. And then he returned to Arizona several times between then and 2002. So this work has been made over, well, more than a 20-year period. So think about how you could apply that to your own photography.
fairly recently I was lucky enough to meet David Hearn only in a very sort of brief shake his hand and tell him I thought he was a legend way he, he probably knew he was a legend but he seemed very very nice it was at the Books on Photography Festival at Bristol and he was there and I just I, I've, I've really really enjoyed and learned a lot from reading his book on being a photographer I think it's one of the clearest most uh, insightful books if you're having kind of struggles with how and why you photograph and I just wanted to, to say to him that I thought he was an absolute legend um, so yeah he just seemed like a really really nice guy and just look at these photographs look at the pairings this is what uh, kind of comes across in in this work not just the sort of the standout images uh, I'm showing you some some great images there you know there's a whole, whole amount of humor in these as one-offs but he works in sort of funny pairings as well the quality of the work is outstanding and the book did, did we mention did we mention just over 10 pounds unbelievable that's my favorite this brand new used books ah what a wonderful wonderful book and uh <laughs> yeah i mean could that be more perfect i don't think it could there's, there's more work by David Hearn which needs to be absorbed into my collection and I've got some zines actually as well I've had sort of quite a spending week uh, but I've got, I've got a few new photo books a Martin Parr book another Magnum photographer book as well uh, so a whole, a whole load of bits of bobs coming through and some zines so we'll see those in future weeks